Hello to this new video. Today I want to show you how you detect objects from certain categories automatically and remove them from your photos or images with ComfyUI. We will use the following custom nodes, mainly the impact pack, the ComfyUI Llama remover, the ComfyUI essentials node pack and one node from the Python GOS package. There are several custom nodes to detect objects in images. The impact pack detects objects with the following detection types. It's BBOX, SEGM and SAM. BBOX means a bounding box. So this detection model gives us back bounding boxes around the defined object we want to detect. We can use this box later on to make a segmentation and to finally draw a silhouette of the object to later remove it or inpaint it to replace it. SEGM stands for segmentation, so this detection method directly gives us the segmented areas which we then can directly inpaint or remove or use as a mask for a removal of the object. And the last method is the SAM method which stands for segment anything. Doesn't work with keywords. So we cannot say detect a person or detect a dog. It simply detects anything which is somehow contoured and detectable. This can be used in combination with for example BBOX to draw silhouettes around detected areas categorized with the BBOX method. For the detection there are several models. The impact pack uh, uses the ultralytics detection models. I will link the place where you can find them in the description below. There are several models models which are optimized for certain tasks. For example, the YOLO 8 face model is especially used for detecting faces. There are other models for special areas, but the general YOLO 8 model, for example, you can use for several categories to detect objects like persons, dogs, a backpack and several other stuff. There is also a YOLO world model, which is made for using keywords like you would do in the prompt but so far this model is not usable with the impact pack as far as i know there is another custom node package which uses the yolo world model but i had problems to get it running there were some version problems which i couldn't solve so far but uh, as far as i find a way a good easy way to use the yolo world model i will let you know and make a new video on it i like to use the detection to automatically remove objects i have this image uh, with uh, people standing in sand dunes and i simply want to automatically detect those people and remove them from the scene with our llama remover we used in videos uh, before. I will guide you through the workflow and I will show you what we detect and how we remove it. So let's start from scratch. So we start by loading our Ultralytics detector loader. Double click on the background, type in Ultralytics and there we already have it. We have to pipe this detector model into the actual detector. At first I want to use the CEGM detector. So double click again. The detection method in the impact pack uses a special data format. It's called SEGS. It's a special format which includes several things like bounding box, position of the segment and uh, more data like the mask uh, we need to use to remove the objects. It's like a multi-dimensional array. So we can also have a look inside this SEGS array by decompose it. And then fill this into the from SEGELT node. 
and from this we can pipe everything into the show text now from the Python GOS package to show us the categories of all detected objects. If we type in all here in the detector, we can finally see the objects which got detected. Since we use the SEGM detector here, we need an SEGM model. The models are divided into VBOX and SEGM in the models folder. So there are two types of models. I will link all the models below and I will also uh, the normal models don't have a special name but the SEGM model have a SEG in the name. For example let's take the YOLO V8M SEG model and pipe it into the detector. So now we need a source image. Simply load image. And I choose this image as a source. So if we start running the workflow now, it will find all detectable objects in the scene and will output them to our show text node. So this should work. Let's give it a try. So it finds one, two, three, four persons and three backpacks. There are three backpacks and four persons. So the model detected everything we see here. Now we need to convert the SEGS data into a mask. So we need the SEGS to mask node. And we use the combined nodes so all the masks are combined you can also use all masks one by one like then you can output all the masks at once or output it as a batch uh, which can then further um, processed as a batch. So you can only choose a certain mask from the batch. So for now, we want to use the combined mask. Let's have a preview of the mask. So let's render again. So here we see our mask, the SEGM already segmented everything for us so there is no need to use the SAM model to draw the contours around our objects. Now we need to pass those mask informations to our llama remover. Double click on the background and choose the big llama remover. We can fill in the mask here and we can fill in the image into this port and then we can finally save the image and that should be it. At this moment everything gets removed so let's give it a try. So you see all the people are removed from the scene. It's not perfect you see where they have been but I think for an automatic workflow, it is quite nice. You can use this for batch processing. If you want, for example, remove all persons from different scenes, you can simply put in person here. Let's try it again. So this gives the same result. Let's try backpack and try again for the backpack. So since the backpack is attached to the people, uh, the people got somehow damaged in this image. For sure, it's not easy to, to remove a backpack from a 
person without damaging the person. Maybe let's try something different. So let's use this generated image with four people and a cat and type in all again. And let's have a look what the detector finds in the image. So one, two, three, four person and a cat. And if we type in cat here, it should only remove the cat in the foreground. So the four people here are untouched and the cat is removed. Okay, so the SEGM detector with the YOLO 8 model only detects certain categories of things. I will post a link to the list or the list itself in the description below. If you want to uh, remove objects by keyword or by a description, you need to use a different model, for example, the YOLO world model, but it's not usable with impact pack at the moment. You need another custom node package. I can link it below as well. I had some technical issues by installing it as far as I find another custom node package or a different way to use it, I will let you know. So yeah, that's it for now. I hope I could give you a way at hand to automatically remove several objects from a photo. You can also use it for mask creation for in-paint, for example, um, yeah, a face detailer, a hand detailer, replace clothes, replace faces and whatnot. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.